Hello Aquarius, welcome to your June of 2019 reading. My name is Jai Govind. This is your channel for Grace. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking this video and for hitting that notification bell. Definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Channel for Grace. If you would like to book a reading with me, do so on my website, channelforgrace.guru and then click on book a reading. Any love donations can be sent to paypal.me forward slash Eagle Star Yoga. And remember to check out the master classes that are going on this month of June. We've got three of them. One of them is called the Moon Goddess Masterclass that's happening on June 8th. The other one is going to be on June 15th. It's an intuition masterclass to teach you how to strengthen your intuition. The Moon Goddess class teaches you how to flow with the, the cycles of the moon. And the Portals of Awakening masterclass, which te teaches you about the seven major portals of awakening and the whole healing process and how it works and how you can navigate better once you're aware of what portal you've just stepped through, is happening on June 22nd. Um, definitely check those out. We are going to say a little prayer for you with some Palo Santo so we can get into this beautiful reading. And I hope you're having an awesome uh, ending of May. I can't believe we're almost pretty much already into June. So thank you, spirit guides, angels, teachers, for being here with us today. Please help clear the energy of these decks that we are using today clear my energy as well let me be an open channel for grace for wisdom intuition to flow through to you and month is a month of um a lot of shifting a lot of changing we're going through the solstice the summer solstice so we're switching seasons which is always um always a big transition energetically for a lot of us we've got a new moon in gemini on June 3rd, which is going to be a really beautiful opportunity for us to really dream our dreams into reality, to activate that Neptunian energy and step into our dreams, our wildest dreams. And next month, July, is eclipse season starting on July 2nd with a solar eclipse followed by a lunar eclipse two weeks later. And those, so July will be the month of the revolution, <laughs> the month of meaning big change, big transformation. And June, we're getting ready for that transformation. So it's the last little bit of work that needs to be done before another major transformation, major shift happens. So it's kind of a lot going on, but it's also um, really beautiful and um, cool. You got the star card which is you, it is Aquarius. So it's really beautiful and um, these transitions are really leading us all into uh, higher states of, higher states of being, higher states of um, um, beauty and activating our power and stepping into our light. So what is the wisdom from the ancestors for you? Here it is. Okay, let's pull an animal spirit card for the month of June for you. See what animal will be your guide. Beautiful. The owl and the phoenix, believe it or not. So let's take a look at this. You begin the reading with the star card, which I just love because the star is all about hope. So this month of June is going to be about hope for you. If you've been feeling a little out of hope, then definitely you will come. You'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. You will realize that um, everything's not lost and everything's going to be OK. You just need to find some balance in your life. That's the challenge for you is to find the balance. And um, that's what the justice card is all about. So finding that balance and um, stopping any illusion. So seeing the truth, seeing, seeing, seeing the future, seeing your life with clarity. That's what this card, this message is coming up for us right now with the seven of cups. Because this card is about the illusion and deception. So if you're if you feel like you've been deceiving yourself if you feel like you've been living this sort of like illusion that needs to be kind of cleared out so you can step into something better um, then definitely listen to that intuition because it is time this this all card also says that if you feel like things haven't been hopeful then that could be the illusion because the truth is that things 
are uh, very much hopeful for you, especially for this month. You also got the Ten of Wands, which speaks of, this is, I mean, the literal message is like a blockage, something's in the way, burden's in the way. What I'm seeing with the story of these cards, because this card is coming right after the Seven of Cups, is when you live in an illusion, everything feels like it's not moving. Everything feels stagnant. The truth is that things are not stagnant. But what you really need to do right now for this month of June is to find some balance in your life. And that balance in your life is going to help you start to step into your, your ability to activate your intuition, to see the unseen and hear the unheard. Because the owl is all about intuition. And it'll help you step into a more hopeful reality where your dreams really are going to come true, but this is just kind of a transition that you're having to go through. And it's very important because it'll it'll show you the way. The, uh, everything that's happening in your life is literally showing you the way. These two cards are beautiful. Hope and intuition. Use your intuition to help you um, step into your power, receive the messages, and know that there's hope. There's always hope. The star is like so beautiful. It, it reminds me also of, you know, the universe and our, and our connection to the universe. And this is literally your card. You are the, you are the star card. So you stepping into your power and coming back into that place of hope is exactly what you're going to need to rebalance your life. And the Phoenix also came up for you. And this is, this is you rising into your power. This is you stepping up. When you clean, when you clear the blockages, when you, when you stop deceiving yourself, when you stop living in an illusion in your life and you find the balance, your intuition will get way stronger, you will rise into your power and you will live a hopeful life. Let's see what the Native Spirit cards want to say to you for this month of June. Here we go, oh my goodness gathering your tribe stepping into your power is really about gathering your tribe finding balance in your life releasing any blockages stopping deception in your life allows you to find that clarity to be able to actually connect with the right people you will be finding the right people it's just a matter of trusting but being clear so when you meet them, you know for sure. You get that intuitive hit very quickly. Look what else you got from this deck. I mean, whoa. So like, dude, intuition, magical month for you for intuition. Don't waste your time on things that don't work. Don't wait. If something feels like there, it's blocked, you need to just go the other way. You need, to, you need to clear yourself. You need to clear your energy and find that hope again in your life. Do not lose hope. This is not the time to give up. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is not the time to give up, Aquarius. I believe in you. You are not alone. You are actually being watched by the elders. They are here to teach you, to help you go through this transition. And they are feeling very proud of you they love you so much and they just they, they really really want you to not give up they really want you to have hope and know that if you trust your intuition it, that you will be listening to them your intuition will be listening to the elders and um you'll you'll be guided you'll be fully guided this is so beautiful i hope that this reading resonated with you and i also um invite you to check out some of the other content on my channel if this is the first time there is a video called um, the conversations with spirit it's actually a podcast and there's seven episodes out so far i will link one of them to this video right now you can click on the screen and also the moon magic for uh, women video which gives you a little bit of a clear idea as to what the moon goddess masterclass will be about and also teaches you five tips to help you align 
with the cycles of the moon, which is so important for us women. So I hope you guys check those out. Um, check out the master classes. The link is um, on the, the link above the screen and then also in the description of this video to find more information. But basically, you just go to my website, channelforgrace.guru. Have an awesome rest of this month, an amazing June, and I will see you guys next month for eclipse season. Satnam.